I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules. If you are new to Wright-Patterson Mahjong, you can learn the fundamentals of the game by watching a lesson playlist. There's a link in the video description below. You're also going to need this book. It's called The Green Book. In here are instructions for how to play the four-player game. And there are definitions for all the hands that you can play. For this exercise, we're going to do a two-player version where each player plays two hands at one time. There's a link in the video description below to the rules that have been modified for a two-player game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which seat is prevailing? I rolled a four, so north is going to be prevailing. North is prevailing. This will tell us which player we are. Player one will be odd, player two even. I rolled an even, so we're going to be player two. I will get 27 tiles. North is prevailing. We are player two playing for west and north. We have a pair of red dragons. We have north, south, pair of east. Here we have cracks, all singles. Here we have dots, one, two, three pair. Here we have bams with a pung of sixes. If this were your dealt, hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would consider Eleanor, which is a number hand. Number hands are double limit hands. They're on page 22. Eleanor is number 40, east with red. And then pungs of different numbers in each suit. So here we have a two, and then we have three, seven, and sixes. This would be Eleanor. We would need to pair up one of these. It has to be a different number so we wouldn't be able to use the two or the six because we have a two and a six here. So we would pung, pung, pair up and pung for a double limit hand. And then down here, we would recover with something else. Maybe all dots or maybe a hand of honors. I would hold the ones, nines and the north and south just in case. We draw well, and I would probably start by discarding those tiles. Play Eleanor and probably dots, maybe dots with news. There is a pair hand that uses one suit with news. It's called Razzle. That is number six on page 17. Five pairs in one suit with news. I would just hold these just to see what comes in. We only have four discards, so probably these would go. I think that's a decent start. The challenge will be this, because we're gonna pung the east. We need an east down here. So that's the tricky part. What I would focus on are, would be the dots and just play one suit. And there are three pages of hands that you could play with one suit. You could play jewel hands, pair hands, sequence hands. 
to start. There are even one suit hands and gate hands. So I would focus on dots and play Eleanor and maybe Razzle or Peng Chow. I wouldn't really pick a hand yet because we have too many discards. I would just gather. I rolled a 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 would be player 2 for prevailing. I rolled a 9. Odd. We're going to be player 1. Two is prevailing and we're player 1. So I will get 28 tiles. Look at all those dots. We have a pung, pear, pung, pear. We have only three cracks. And then here we have a bam, pair of three bams, singles. Here we have winds and dragons with a pair of ease. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I would have glorious plans. There are a lot of things you can do with all these dots. The first thing I thought of was Kong Pung. Kong Pung is a double limit concealed hand. It is very difficult, but worth the effort. Number 16 on page 18, sequence of one to nine, we would need a three dot and a five dot and a nine dot. So it's gonna take a little work. Then you need to have a Kong in your hand and a Pong, and we have two to choose from. We have two pair that could become pungs. If we were to play Kong Pung, we would not need these. Therefore, I would maybe try a Hand of Honors and discard those. Hand of Honors, double limit hand, probably, probably either Terminus or Heavenly Twins. So let's just quickly look at those. Heavenly Twins is number 76 on page 26. Seven pairs of winds, dragons, and terminals, which are ones and nines. We have two pair right now, so that's gonna take a little work. The other option might be Terminus. Number 65 on page 25. News with one win paired and three pungs of terminals. Again, we would need to pair up and pung. So lots of hands we could maybe do here. Here, if Kong Pung doesn't work out and we draw other tiles, we could maybe play hijacks. Hijacks is another double limit hand that is concealed, number 17 on page 18, four concealed pungs in a pair in one suit. 
Here we have one, two. We could declare this as a concealed Kong. So that would be one, two concealed Pungs. And then we would need to draw a two dot and a seven dot. So that I think would be probably an equal long shot to Kong Pung and hijacks. If we were to play hijacks or even Pung Chow, because if you play hijacks, you have a chance for Pung Chow too. And, and you can see here we have a Chow right there. This is isolated. There's a Pung, a potential Chow here, and a potential Chow here in a pair. One, two, three, four, five blocks. We don't even need that. Pair, potential Chow, potential Chow, Pung, Chow. So we would need a three dot in either case here, and we would be ready to win on Pung Chow. So there's a lot that can be done with one suit. If we go that route, maybe instead of a Hand of Honors, play BAMs. Maybe Betty. Betty is a pair hand on page 17, number eight. Three pairs in one suit, no terminals. So we would have to discard those. Pair here. And then we would need a West and a Green Dragon because you have to have seven odd honors. Seven odd honors is when you have one of each of the dragons, one of each of the wins, and then any of those paired. That's called seven odd honors. Or actually seven odd honors would be wins and dragons, one of each. And then for Betty, you need a pair in there. So that is an option. Either way, no matter how we, which way we go, whether we play Kong Pung, Hijacks, Piano Keys, or Hand of Honors, or even Betty, we never touched these tiles. So I would discard these and just see what happens. This would be fun to play out. Two potential double limit hands. They need work though. I rolled an eight. So north is prevailing. Here I rolled a 10. That's even, so we're gonna be player two. Twenty-seven tiles. We have all the dragons and a pair northeast. Then here we have cracks with a pung of ones. Three dots, two, six, eight, evens. Here we have lots of bams. One bam, pair three, pair four, pair nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your discards? If these were my tiles, I think I might try either a jewel hand or a gate hand with the green dragon and the bams. For jewel hand, the numbers are two, three, four, six, eight, or three, four, five, seven, nine. Two, three, four, six, eight is called jade. Three, four, five, seven, nine is called emerald. 
The jewel hands are beautiful hands. They're kind of hard though, I think, because they're specific numbers. Emerald is number 29 on page 20. Four pungs or chows in a pair, all in three, four, five, seven, nine, and or green dragons. So we could do pungs or chows, no six. So we would need to maybe chow three, four, five, three, four, five. We need another five bam, maybe pung the nine, pair the seven. There would need to be work done. The other option would be to play a gate hand, dragon gates. We have a pair of nines. We wouldn't be able to use both of these pairs though. One would have to go because you only need one pair in there. Dragon gates is number 33 on page 21. 111 or 999. So we'd have to lose, let's say these two. We would need a dragon, six and eight bam, three away. I would still keep these though, because we've got lots of options. We could even play Pung Chow in here. Pung Chow is a sequence hand on page 18, number 15, four chows or pungs in a pair, all in one suit. One, two, three, three, four, five, isolated pair or 789 potential pair isolated potential chow there's a chow here's a potential chow one two three yeah we need more bams a little work to be done there but there's lots of potential with a one suit hand so I would focus on bams Stay concealed for flexibility. Then up here, we could play maybe, maybe we could even play a hand of honors and just get rid of the cracks. But we might be able to play dragon gates here too. If we can get another red dragon, we'd have to throw away a pair of dragons though. Maybe what would be good here would be a pear hand. I would want to use these somehow. If we could get the other one, we could use a Kong as two pear for maybe dazzle and maybe then use this up here and just play either jade or pung chow maybe. We could even discard these and maybe play dragon lineup. So in the sequence hands, dragon lineup is number 11 on page 18. Sequence of one and nine in one suit, one tile paired two through eight. That's why we, we wouldn't be able to use these. We'd have to pair up one of these in here. And of course we'd need a two crack, six, seven crack. So work would need to be done. We really didn't use these, but I would hold them because if we draw more honors and terminals, say in dots or cracks, then we might be able to use these. If we draw BAMs, like a more one or nine BAM, I would use them down here. So I would probably start by discarding those, see what comes in, focus on BAMs, cracks, maybe honors. This would be a fun one to play out too. There are so many great options. Another thing we could do is play Betty down here. Three, four, we'd have to throw away a pair. I don't think I would do that. I think I would stick with the original plan though, up here. But one suit and honors, there's a lot of flexibility. Just stay concealed and gather. Cracks, bams, maybe honors. I 
Another thing I was thinking just now, there is some potential for double numbers. Three, four, three, four. Play a hand of honors up here, maybe something with dragons or pairs. And then down here, three, four, three, four double numbers and pair up here. Again, working with bams and cracks, so dots never came into play. So that's an option. Double numbers is on page 22, number 38. Two pungs of the same number in two suits with a pair of Windsor dragons. Three, four, three, four. I would keep these dragons for maybe the terminals and then pair up one of these. As far as the hand of honors with dragons, there's number 69 termidrags five pairs of terminals with red white and green dragon one dragon paired and you can use kongs for two pair so that's a potential termidrags lots of fun possibilities with this one If you are new to Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules and you have a set of tiles at home, try this exercise. It really is a great way to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand and making those initial decisions with what to discard. Just identify the discards. The rest can come pick by pick. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules, may all your picks be keepers.